Leslie Harrison, the alderman. She, when I first uh, got elected mayor in our first meeting, she talked about this bank being a beacon for the community and in all its potential. And we would not all be here if it wasn't for Leslie. In literally the first meeting, I took a note, and Leslie made note that it can't be torn down. There's too much history. It is too beautiful. And I'm going to tell you that, uh, the next story about that. But if you're here, you're standing here, you drew, drove by it once, you appreciate it. And the reason it's standing is because of the alderman. And give her a hand for being a vocal. Let me say this, if anybody's ever been in a meeting with Leslie, you really don't have to write it down. You'll remember if she has a point, trust me, if you're on the other end of that. The second thing is, uh, Amy and I, my wife and I, were driving around with the Aster early in my first term. And we were looking at his other property and what his vision was and what he was doing from the home to the workspace and what he envisioned for all the community, which an outgrowth of that happened to be a public housing facility that's now a literally I would call an artist community kibbutz-like project that is open. But we drove by the bank and the Astor had his vision and it recorded what Leslie said. And at the same time, without naming any department specifically, but it was going to be torn down. It was scheduled two weeks to be torn down, it was fortuitous, that literally I happened to be driving by, I said, well, if the Astor has plans for it. Well, it's too risky, and we have no insurance, the tile's falling, somebody's gonna die, somebody's gonna get hurt, we're gonna get sued. I said, well, let me tell you something, if you tear it down, you're gonna have to knock the mayor over. And if you knock the mayor over, you're gonna have to also knock the mayor's wife over. My recommendation is don't mess with the first lady. <laughs> it's just one, just go ahead and do what you want. Subtle suggestion. And that became the process in which we then decided not to. We put the canvas up, and then that's why we're all here. And it all started with Leslie, started drive with the Aster, and I can't thank the foundation enough and all the parties that were here to making this happen. And the idea that with the Chicago Architectural Biannual coming, the world has come here, and that this would organize and be open at the time that the world's here. So it's not just a downtown event, but it's across the city. And then I want to say something specific about the Astor. Many artists who make it in Chicago leave Chicago because they don't think Chicago is big enough for them. Chicago, the world knows about the Astor's work, but the good news is not only has the Astor not left, his heart and soul is in the city of Chicago and we are a richer city for it. And on behalf of the people of the city of Chicago, thank you, the Astor. Thank you.